I have always had my sights on the Air Force. Uh, you know, coming out of high school, I was part of the junior ROTC for the Air Force. You know, I've served in active duty for 13, 14 years, and uh, I decided to cross over to the Air National Guard. Not necessarily a lateral move, but just a change in a lifestyle. I did four and a half years active duty. I was stationed at Fairchild Air Force Base, and it was an incredible experience. I wanted to do have a career whereby I was of service to a bigger cause. That transition to the Guard was it was a tough decision, to be honest, to leave active duty because it's a huge change. I was scared to make the leap, but now that I'm on this side, there are no regrets. I definitely appreciate everything that has come my way. I enlisted in January of 2012. From there, I was in active duty. I actually got stationed in Altus, Oklahoma. I found what I wanted to do. I was happy. Um, I was good at my job and in transportation and being a porter. Uh, living in Oklahoma, it's a few states away. I missed my family. I had just gotten back from deployment. Um, I felt like I had done a lot for the Air Force and for our country, um, and I was ready for the Air Force to do something for me. I uh, did four years active duty at Hurlburt Field, Florida. Um, it was a nice area. I, I miss it sometimes. I chose a job that I thought that I would be able to use it after I got out of the Air Force, aircraft mechanic. I was actually trying to get stationed close to home because I love home so much. I was trying to get Travis Air Force Base, but they sent me across the United States. In active duty, I was a munitions uh, crew chief. I worked at um, Cannon Air Force Base, which had fighter jets. And then from there, I went to Ramstein, Germany. I've always wanted to join the military since I was younger. It's probably from watching military movies with my dad. <laughs> we always liked watching those together. National Guard means being close to a family for me. While I was in uh, active duty, I was actually taking a little too many trips from Florida to California just to see family. Every time I had to go back to Florida, I was already missing family. So I just made that final decision to move back home. And in that process, I found out that Moffett Field has my job offered in, in the Air National Guard. I just took it. It was a no-brainer. When you're active duty, you're, you go where you're told to, so you get orders, and then you, it's hard for you to, to oppose like, what they tell you to do. So when I knew I wanted to go back to school, I had a list of schools I wanted to apply to, I, and I knew that I couldn't apply. If I were to get accepted, I would not be able to attend the schools. I actually didn't even know about the base that was close to my hometown where I grew up, and it was interesting to, to find out that there was a base so close to where I grew up and where I wanted to be back to. Being 14 years in active duty and moving every three years, I've definitely had my fair share of, of moving, which I'm very fortunate I've got to travel the world. Once uh, I started having a family, definitely the stability started to sound more attractive. The one thing that the Guard has different from the active duty side is that you do get to choose where you want to go. Um, if you qualify for a position, um, as long as you meet the requirements, um, you can put in for any location you want to go. If you want to stay put for the rest of your career, that's, that's your choice. The Air National Guard is really here to boost my civilian life as well. Now I have more time, not only for my family, but I can pursue a career, um, go back to school. I had always, 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 since I was a little girl, wanted to be an assistant. And I was able to do that. I was able to go get another career while still being in the Guard. And it's just easier to serve and kind of have my own life now. Whereas in active duty, your life is the Air Force. So now it's kind of like I get half and half and I could be a civilian and I could be an airman. When I was at my master's, I had the itch to continue my education and that's when I decided that if I wanted to go to school um, full time at an actual institution, that would have to separate um, early from my six year contract. So I started asking questions to my leadership, what do I do? 
example, with a guard, you have more control of your personal life and your personal goals outside of your military career. The big benefits for me for joining the Air National Guard was that I was able to pursue my culinary endeavors and I was able to stay close to home. I also wanted to still be a part of the military to be able to serve my country and to be able to receive the benefits from being in the Air National Guard. You know, the opportunity of experiencing or going into a new career field, whether it's medical, uh, you know, pararescue, or financial management, um, you, I have that option whenever I want. Um, and uh, it's definitely um, an opportunity not a lot of people get to, get to have. Just opportunities to cross train, it's a lot more flexible. It's a lot easier to pretty much expand your, your experience. I also have that insurance or that comfort knowing that if I were not to get a full-time job when I graduated, I know there was a safety net because there are always opportunities on base where I'm stationed to get a full-time position, either in my career field or something different. When I moved to Delaware, I was still in the bioenvironmental engineering AFSC. And then um, when I wanted to move back to California, that's when I cross-trained to the career field that I am in right now, which is personalis. I went straight palace front uh, into the guard as a DSG, drill status guardsman, uh, working one week in a month. I did that for about a year, and I ended up getting a full-time slot uh, as a technician where I've been working ever since. So I was banking on the Air National Guard to uh, offer me a full-time position with them and they uh, actually delivered. Being in the pastry profession is a little bit challenging just because of the job demands and all of that. So being in the Air National Guard, it gives me another option in case I needed to take a break from doing that. Since it's so strenuous, um, I am able to to do more of my Air National Guard duties if I needed to. Um, with, with my position being um, uh, AGR, I am a full-time guard member. Uh, I, keep, I get to keep my benefits, I get to keep the same, same take-home pay that I, I was receiving active duty, so there was not a whole lot of change. I, I have no regrets so far. Um, I've cherished my time in active duty, but uh, definitely uh, not looking back. Uh, I definitely made the right decision.